you know, I got her and Dr. Amy Pills, and then next thing you know, I was like addicted to them. After my prescription was over with, I would try to go find pills to buy. I had this whole idea about people that used opiates, and then it happened to me. I got sick, and I was dependent. My whole life was consumed. I lost my brother, and that's when I started um, doing heroin and meth and anything that came across me, you know, I would do because I just wanted to cover my pain. Things that were important to me stopped being important, like take care of my daughter and showing up on time to pick up my kid from school or going to work. So my life really got consumed by using drugs and it became really noticeable to my family and friends. And I pretend like I was a good parent and that I had, my kid came first, but really she didn't. That's horrible to say and it's hard to say, but it's true that Everybody was on the back burner. My drugs came first. It ruined my uh, marriage and, and took me away from my kids. I was missing out on a lot and not realizing it, you know. I decided that I needed to get help um, when my daughter was taken away. I was just done. I was just done living the, the homeless life, you know, trying to find it, what you had to do for it. Noticed that it wasn't just affecting me that it was affecting my family members who loved me and cared for me and my friends. I was also hurting them. That's when I realized, you know, this isn't good for myself or anybody around me, you know. I didn't even know that this place existed, Tagwalich, until one of my friends told me that they're going to their appointment at Tagwalich, and I was like, what's that, you know? And so I tagged along with them here, and he told me that this place helps, you know, better your life and get you on the medications that you need to be to better your life, you know, like Suboxone and Methadone if you need it. So I had known about the MAT program in Sluts, and I had always had this idea in my head if I could just get 10 days of clean time, I could get on this shot called Vivitrol. So I got out of jail and I did exactly that. I went to the Sluts clinic and they gave me the shot that day and I've been clean and sober ever since. Well, now that I'm on methadone, I have my own job, I have my own car, and I take care of my children. The medications that I'm taking is Suboxone, and it's helping me live a better life and be a better person. I have a relationship with my mom that I used to never have. I have a relationship with my daughter that was estranged. I have. Um, I feel like I have respect in my community. I can walk around town with my head held high. Those are the gifts that I have today. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, anybody can do it. If they're willing to do the work and is really ready to change their life for the better. To learn more, text opioids to 97779 to receive videos, quizzes, and more to grow your knowledge about opioids and learn how you can be an effective advocate for your community. Also visit the Northwest Portland Area Indian Health Board's website at www.npaihb.org forward slash opioid for information, fact sheets, and videos about opioids.